most common symptoms that I hear from a lot of clients that I start working with is low mood. And there's a pretty big connection to hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's. So I want to review some of the things with you of why this can happen. First, if you could do me a very big favor, if you're watching this on YouTube, um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you get a notification every single time I release a new video. And if you're watching this on my other social channels, go ahead and share this with someone who would benefit from this. So like I said, one of the common things I hear is how a lot of women will have low mood with hypothyroidism. And there's a pretty big connection between your hormones, between your thyroid, between your mood. So I wanted to go over with you a little bit more detail as to why this can actually happen. So stress is probably one of the biggest factors that I see. Remember stress in any form that could mean an internal thing like a gut infection or nutrition is really poor. You might have a virus or something external like you hate your job or you get stuck in traffic. So pretty much any kind of stressor can contribute to an imbalance of your hormones and that can lead to low mood and even further um, low thyroid or more thyroid issues. And remember stress, the adrenals, there's a big connection between what your um, thyroid is doing and the adrenals are doing. So that's why stress can really play a role in what your, what your mood is like in that connection with hypothyroidism. But serotonin is also another pretty big connection. Serotonin levels can actually be reduced when thyroid hormones are low. And where is most of the serotonin made actually? It is made in your gut. Serotonin is our happy hormone, we need that. So if we have poor gut health, which again, very common to have poor gut health with Hashimoto's and hypothyroidism, you can drastically reduce that ha happy hormone. So that's gonna reduce, um, give you low mood. And again, we get this kind of vicious cycle. Acetylcholine is also another important thing to discuss. This is a neurotransmitter. It helps you remember words. One of the big things that I hear from women is that they um, feel like they can't remember words and their brain is kind of all mumbly. And that can also be a contributor to um, mood as well. Um, when we have low thyroid hormone, we actually can have low acetylcholine. And that, again, that's why a lot of hypothyroid warriors, they will actually forget things a lot. That also can lead to low mood. Um, GABA is another one that's a, a, a pretty important one. It's, it's an important, it's an inhibitory. It inhibits um, different actions. It's an inhibitory neurotransmitter that can also become low um, when we have thyroid issues. It can become high as well. So we can have over abundance of it or way too little of it and lower high levels can cause different symptoms such as depression, even anxiety, trouble sleeping, addictive behaviors, things like that. So that's why it's really important again, to get your thyroid health under control so that we can control the GABA as well. Dopamine is also another really important um, neurotransmitter that is connected to mood. Um, this is an excitatory neurotransmitter and we can actually have a decrease in that when we have low thyroid hormone. So dopamine, one of the things that it does is it helps to actually increase your TSH. TSH is thyroid stim stimulated hormone. It's a brain hormone that's released to tell your body to actually make more thyroid hormone. So if we don't have enough dopamine on board, we won't have the TSH to tell your thyroid we need more thyroid hormone. And so you get this vicious cycle where we have low dopamine, now we have low TSH, and it comes back around and it, it, it continues to get worse and worse and worse. So you'll have low energy, poor learning ability, even memory trouble, and mood can really get take a pretty big hit when we don't have enough of that on board. So these are definitely some of the big ones that I see that, that as far as the connection with hypothyroidism um, and mood. Um, anytime I work with women and we see that, that yes, that there is hypothyroidism or Hashimoto's, um, this is definitely something that they will tell me is that they're really struggling with mood. They're really down in the dumps. Um, there's also some minerals that can be connected, things like lithium, which is something else that I test. Um, on the hair test and lithium can be a big connection to mood as well. So that can get very depleted again with hypothyroidism. So often you're told that it's just a chemical imbalance, but a lot of times they're not looking at the root causes. Why is this happening though? What is doing this in the first place? And a lot of times the thyroid is a big connection and that needs to be addressed. So let me know if you have any questions about this. Let me know below as well your experience with this, especially if you've struggled with hypothyroidism or Hashimoto's, have you ever experienced this? Me personally, I did. When my thyroid was really, really bad, I struggled with mood 
and it was pretty hard to get out of it at times when it was really bad. So I can totally relate to you. So, you know, let me know below if you have questions or if this has happened to you. I, I know you're not alone. Some, so many women can relate, but again, just rest assured that there are things that can be done for this. So hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one. Bye.